Hello Merlins and Serlins, I'm the F-Bomb here on Nick Bro Inc. Do you like Star Wars Battlefront 2 on the PC? Do you like playing with mods on Star Wars Battlefront 2 on the PC? Have you used the version 1.3 update at any point in your time while modding? Of course you have. It's part of every essential mod that you use. Do you hate these two giant blue things that are here over the menu? Does it just block your screen? Does it really piss you off when you're looking around and you're like, geez, if it's just there. It's in the way. It's half of my screen. I can't stand this. I'm dead because of these blue things. Well, here in this video, we'll go over how you can get rid of the HUD from version 1.3. Now, the most annoying part about doing that intro was that I had to reinstall the HUD onto, this, onto my game. So... If you're experiencing that HUD, that means you've used the version 1.3 patch at some point as a byproduct of a game, uh, of one of the mods. Now, most of the mods require something. The BFX mod, the conversion pack, for example, installs the version 1.3 update right off the bat. So, let's go through the pathway real quick before you start asking me questions, because I'm going to talk about this pathway a lot. So if you're going to be modding the game, if you're going to be changing the game, and if you're going to play on Steam, you go to your your computer, your drive, your program files, then you go to Steam, then you go to Steam Apps, then you go to Common, then you go to Battlefront 2, and then you go to Game Data. Now this is usually where you stop. This is usually where you put your mods, okay? And as you can see here, I've already install the conversion pack and the 2.2 patch which you need to play those you also need the 2.2 to play the battlefront 2 game uh i mean the bfx mod now if you're trying to do any other mods something like the dark times mod or a few other mods they usually just go right here in your game data others go in your add-on folder now if you don't have an add-on folder right off the bat uh you should make one now you may see that there is a version 1.3 patch here if you want to get rid of the HUD, what you do is you get in the, not here, but this is an example of an error that I run into all the time. You need to, to open one of the menu bats. And usually, that'll happen. And the reason why that's happening is because this patch is in the same folder as here. Something weird, it's something weird about the patch cannot be in the same exact folder as the .exe. So what you need to do in order to fix the HUD and get rid of that blue shit is to go in your add-on folder or make one. Then if you don't have this already, you create a AAA-V 1.3 patch folder. And then you install the version 1.3 patch in here. And you saw some of this before. Now, for me, I have a light menu because I downloaded one of the, uh, here, I'll show you. It's in my downloads here. I had downloaded the uh, 1.3 patch light revision 117. It doesn't really matter if you have this one, if you have the 1.29 installed, whatever. Just make sure that if you're using a... If you're not using a light version, you use the menu batch. If you're using the light version like me, you click on the light menu bat. I've been saying batch, they're bat files. So what you do now is you open it. See how this works? It didn't just crash right away. That's because that you put this in the proper section. So then you go ahead, you hit any key, and right there, it's very simple. Remove HUD. You hit 3, and then you hit enter. And then now that it's done updating the HUD, press any continue. And we're done. I don't want to uninstall the patch. I don't want to disable any of those two things. I just want to exit. So I hit zero. I hit zero. And then I hit enter. It says, have a nice day. I hit enter again. It closes. That should be it. Let's go see if it worked. All right, cool. Let's see. Let's see if this worked. Because if it didn't, then, then I have a bigger problem. And my game's broken. See? And look at that. That big-ass stupid HUD is gone. That's it. Everything's fixed. You can now enjoy your game in a way that... I feel is a much better way to play. If the HUD's a pain in the ass, like for me, as it was for you, see how I haven't died yet because the HUD isn't there. Now that the HUD isn't a problem, I won't die in the game. Except if that Sith Lord kills me. Oh, I'm dead anyway. Hooray! Now, if you're not playing through Steam, 
The difference in what I did compared to what you will do is you have to go into your computer. You go, I believe, into your program files. It could be wrong. You go into your program files. Then you set your stuff to LucasArts, Battlefront 2, Game Data. You make an add-on folder, and you... It's all there! Son of a bitch. <laughs> so you do the exact same process, except if you're playing through disk, you put it through LucasArts instead of Steam and all that. But to reiterate, if you are using this through Steam, your pathway is going to be... Program files, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Game Data. This is where you put your mods. Then to actually get rid of the HUD, you need to go into your Game Data's add-on folder, make a folder for the AAA-V1.3 patch, install the patch in this folder, go in whatever menu.bat file you're properly using, and do the process that I showed you before. And that process, again, is to get in it, Press any key. It would have been three for me, but since we did it, it's asking me to restore it. So you hit three, and then you hit enter. And then that's it. It's all that simple. Enjoy not having a stupid HUD. Thank you all for watching. Come back. Be a friend. A friend, is a friend.